Visual Basic.net controls and property. Learning objectives. At the end of the session, the students should be able to 1. Enumerate the different controls in Visual Basic.net. 2. Explain how to use different dialogue controls. 3. Demonstrate manipulation, formatting, methods, advanced editing, cutting, copying and pasting features in Visual Basic.net. 4. Describe the uses of tree view and list view controls. Visual Basic.net, dialog boxes. There are many built-in dialog boxes to be used in Windows Forms, for various tasks, like opening and saving files, printing a page, providing choices for colors, fonts, page setup, etc., to the user of an application. These built-in dialog boxes reduce the developer's time and workload. All of these dialog box control classes, inherit from the common dialog class, and overwrite the run dialog function, of the base class to create the specific dialog box. The run dialog function, is automatically invoked, when a user of a dialog box calls its show dialog function. The show dialog method is used to display all the dialog box controls, at runtime. It returns a value of the type of dialog result enumeration. The values of dialog result enumeration are 1. Abort, it returns dialog result abort value, when user clicks an abort button. 2. Cancel, it returns dialog result cancel, when user clicks a cancel button. 3. Ignore, it returns dialog result ignore, when user clicks an ignore button. 4. No, it returns dialog result no, when user clicks a no button. 5. None, it returns nothing and the dialog box continues running. 6. OK, it returns dialog result OK, when user clicks an OK button. 7. Retry, it returns dialog result retry, when user clicks an retry button. 8. Yes, it returns dialog result yes, when user clicks an yes button. The following diagram shows the common dialog class inheritance. Common dialog inherits the following. 1. Color dialog. 2. Font dialog. 3. File dialog. 4. Print dialog. 5. Page setup dialog. The file dialog inherits the following. 1. Open file dialog. 2. Save file dialog. All these above mentioned classes have corresponding controls that could be added from the toolbox during design time. You can include relevant functionality of these classes to your application either by instantiating the class programmatically or by using relevant controls. When you double click any of the dialog controls in the toolbox or drag the control onto the form, it appears in the component tray at the bottom of the Windows Forms Designer. They do not directly show up on the form. The following lists the commonly used dialog box controls. 1. Color dialog, it represents a common dialog box, that displays available colors, along with controls that enable the user to define custom colors. 2. Font dialog, it prompts the user, to choose a font from among those installed on the local computer and lets the user, select the font, font size, and color. 3. Open file dialog, it prompts the user to open a file, and allows the user to select a file to open. 4. Save file dialog, it prompts the user to select a location, for saving a file and allows the user to specify the name of the file to save data. 5. Print dialog, it lets the user to print documents by selecting a printer, and choosing which sections of the document to print from a Windows Forms application. Visual Basic.net, Color Dialog Control. The Color Dialog Control class, represents a common dialog box that displays available colors, along with controls that enable the user to define custom colors. It lets the user select a color. The main property of the color dialog control is color, which returns a color object. This is an example of a color dialog box. You can select a color by selecting a color, or by typing hexadecimal number of the color. The properties of the color dialog control. The following are some of the commonly used properties of the color dialog control. 1. 
allow full open, it gets or sets a value indicating whether the user can use the dialog box to define custom colors. 2. Any color, it gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box displays all available colors in the set of basic colors. 3. Can raise events, gets a value indicating whether the component can raise an event. 4. Color, gets or sets the color selected by the user. 5. Custom colors, gets or sets the set of custom colors shown in the dialog box. 6. Full open, gets or sets a value indicating whether the controls used to create custom colors are visible when the dialog box is open. 7. Show help, gets or sets a value indicating whether a help button appears in the color dialog box. 8. Solid color only, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box will restrict users to selecting solid colors only. Methods of the color dialog control. The following are some of the commonly used methods of the color dialog control. 1. Reset. Resets all options to their default values, the last selected color to black, and the custom colors to their default values. 2. Run dialog, when overridden in a derived class, specifies a common dialog box. 3. Show dialog, runs a common dialog box with a default owner. Events of the color dialog control. The following are some of the commonly used events of the color dialog control. 1. Help request, occurs when the user clicks the help button on a common dialog box. VisualBasic.net, font dialog control. It prompts the user to choose a font, from among those installed on the local computer, and lets the user select the font, font size, and color. It returns the font and color objects. This is how the font dialog box look like. When you display the font common dialog box, the available fonts for the system display. After the user makes a selection, you can use the font property of the dialog box object. You may want to assign the font property to the font property of other objects on your form. By default, the color combo box is not shown on the font dialog box. You should set the show color property of the font dialog control to be true. When the user clicks on the font menu item, the font dialog box appears on the screen. Execution halts until the user responds to the dialog box either by clicking OK or Cancel. The following are some of the commonly used properties of the font dialog control. 1. Allow simulations, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box allows graphics device interface, D, font simulations. 2. Allow vector fonts, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box allows vector font selections. 3. Allow vertical fonts, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box displays both vertical and horizontal fonts, or only horizontal fonts. 4. Color, gets or sets the selected font color. 5. Fixed pitch only, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box allows only the selection of fixed pitch fonts. 6. Font, gets or sets the selected font. 7. Font must exist, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box specifies an error condition, if the user attempts to select a font or style that does not exist. 8. Max size, gets or sets the maximum point size a user can select. 9. Min size, gets or sets the minimum point size a user can select. 10. Scripts only, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box allows selection of fonts for all non-OEM and symbol character sets as well as the ANSI character set. 11. Show apply gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box contains an apply button. 12. Show color gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box displays the color choice. 13. Show effects gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box contains controls that allow the user to specify strike through, underline, and text color options. 14. Show help, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box displays a help button. Methods of the font dialog control. The following are some of the commonly used methods of the font dialog control. 1. 
Reset, resets all options to their default values. 2. Run dialog, when overridden in a derived class, specifies a common dialog box. 3. Show dialog, runs a common dialog box with a default owner. Events of the font dialog control. The following are some of the commonly used events of the font dialog control. 1. Apply, occurs when the apply button on the font dialog box is clicked. VisualBasic.net, open file dialog control. The open file dialog control, prompts the user to open a file, and allows the user to select a file to open. The user can check if the file exists, and then open it. The open file dialog control class, inherits from the abstract class file dialog. If the show read only property is set to true, then a read only checkbox appears in the dialog box. You can also set the read only checked property to true, so that the read only checkbox appears checked. This is an example of the open file dialog box. Properties of the open file dialog control. The following are some of the commonly used properties of the open file dialog control. 1. At extension, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box automatically adds an extension, to a file name if the user omits the extension. 2. Auto upgrade enabled, gets or sets a value, indicating whether this file dialog instance, should automatically upgrade appearance and behavior when running on Windows. 3. Check file exists gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box displays a warning if the user specifies a file name that does not exist. 4. Check path exists, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box displays a warning if the user specifies a path that does not exist. 5. Custom places, gets the custom places collection, for this file dialog instance. 6. Default ext, gets or sets the default file name extension. 7. Dereference links, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box returns the location of the file referenced by the shortcut or whether it returns the location of the shortcut, lnk. 8. File name, gets or sets a string, containing the file name selected in the file dialog box. 9. File names gets the file names of all selected files in the dialog box. 10. Filter, gets or sets the current file name filter string, which determines the choices that appear in the save as file type, or files of type box in the dialog box. 11. Filter index, gets or sets the index, of the filter currently selected in the file dialog box. 12. Initial directory, gets or sets, the initial directory displayed by the file dialog box. 13. Multiselect, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box allows multiple files to be selected. 14. Read only checked, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the read only check box is selected. 15. Restore directory, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box restores the current directory before closing. 16. Save file name, gets the file name and extension for the file selected in the dialog box. The file name does not include the path. 17. Save file names, gets an array of file names and extensions for all the selected files in the dialog box. The file names do not include the path. 18. Show help, gets or sets a value indicating whether the help button is displayed in the file dialog box. 19. Show read only, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box contains a read only checkbox. 20. Support multi dotted extensions, gets or sets whether the dialog box supports displaying and saving files that have multiple file name extensions. 21. Title, gets or sets the file dialog box title. 22. Validate names, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box accepts only valid Win32 file names. Methods of the open file dialog control. The following are some of the commonly used methods of the open file dialog control. 1. Open file, opens the file selected by the user, with read only permission. The file is specified by the file name property. 2. 
Reset. Resets all options to their default value. Visual Basic.net. Save File Dialog Control. The Save File Dialog Control prompts the user to select a location for saving a file and allows the user to specify the name of the file to save data. The Save File Dialog Control class inherits from the abstract class File Dialog. Following is the Save File Dialog box. Properties of the Save File Dialog Control. The following are some of the commonly used properties of the Save File Dialog Control. 1. Add extension, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box automatically adds an extension to a file name if the user omits the extension. 2. Check file exists, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box displays a warning if the user specifies a file name that does not exist. 3. Check path exists, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box displays a warning if the user specifies a path that does not exist. 4. Create prompt, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box prompts the user for permission to create a file if the user specifies a file that does not exist. 5. Default ext, gets or sets the default file name extension. 6. Dereference links, gets or sets a value, indicating whether the dialog box returns the location of the file referenced by the shortcut or whether it returns the location of the shortcut, lnk. 7. File name, gets or sets a string containing the file name selected in the file dialog box. 8. File names, gets the file names of all selected files in the dialog box. 9. Filter gets or sets the current file name filter string, which determines the choices that appear in the save as file type, or files of type box in the dialog box. 10. Filter index, gets or sets the index of the filter currently selected in the file dialog box. 11. Initial directory, gets or sets the initial directory displayed by the file dialog box. 12. Overwrite prompt gets or sets a value indicating whether the save as dialog box displays a warning if the user specifies a file name that already exists. 13. Restore directory, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box restores the current directory before closing. 14. Show help, gets or sets a value indicating whether the help button is displayed in the file dialog box. 15. Support multi-dotted extensions, gets or sets whether the dialog box supports displaying and saving files that have multiple file name extensions. 16. Title, gets or sets the file dialog box title. 17. Validate names, gets or sets a value indicating whether the dialog box accepts only valid Win32 file names. Methods of the Save File Dialog Control. The following are some of the commonly used methods of the save file dialog control. 1. Open file, opens the file with read write permission. 2. Reset, resets all dialog box options to their default values.